out here today looking at some really nice 1911 style pistols from Dan Wesson. You know, Dan Wesson pistols, they're a, they're a production gun, but they're made like a custom gun. They got some really nice features on it, and uh, they're just, the way they're fitted and finished, it's just hard to, hard to pretty much imagine they're not all hand finished because they're just fitted so tight, but they still run really well. The bushings are tight, they come with a bushing wrench, they each come one of these hard cases. Bushing wrench, extra magazine, little bottle of oil, your mandatory lock, and instruction manual. But the guns uh, fire really well. I've, I've used them uh, before in the past. Uh, they're they're uh, expertly put together. The only thing missing on this for me would be a left-hand safety, which you can put one on if you want to. This particular model is a heritage model. It's all stainless, uh, stainless bottom, stainless top. It's got the extended um, thumb safety on it. Extended beaver tail safety, skeletonized hammer. Got some really nice Trijicon uh, night sights on it. So if you get low light condition, it's really good to have. Got the rib on top of the uh, slide. This particular one has a stainless guide rod, but it's standard length guide rod. It's not extended. The Like I said, the, uh, the bushing's fitted to the slide really tight, and it's fitted to the barrel really tight. So get some really great accuracy out of this. Got a little bit extended uh, mag release on it that comes with Two of these eight round uh, checkmate mags, they work really well. They're also uh, steel mags, function really well. This has extended base pads on it for seating it. Uh, the gun just runs perfectly. Everything I've put through it so far, hollow points, or several variety of hollow points, uh, hard cast flat points, uh, hard cast target logs, they all function perfectly in this weapon. It's just uh, the trigger pulling on it is just a perfect crisp, right at four pound trigger pull. And it works really well. The other one we're looking at is lightweight and well, it's an eco model. This one's called. Now this one has got an aluminum frame on it, so it comes in at 27 ounces. It also has the rib top on the slide here, has a nice set of sturdy Trijicon sights on it. They are adjustable in the dovetail for windage if you want to. This one has a notch here so you can cock it if you have to on a tabletop, on a boot or anything like that. Uh, got that little ledge on it, but it's still not rough on your hand if you cycle on slide. Also has an extended uh, beaver tail grip safety, skeletonized hammer, same triggers in the other than both triggers are uh, adjustable for over travel. Has extended safety on it, but it don't stick out as far as it does on the heritage model. Got some nice G10 grips on it. It's got a checkered uh, mainspring housing, checkered front strap on it. A little bit of a bevel on the mag well. It comes with two of these also checkmate mags. They are uh, seven round mags, even in this little short officer size frame. They fit flush, but they do hold seven rounds each, so it gives you eight rounds total in this little weapon. And it does have a steel extended guide rod on it and a bushingless slide on it. So it's got this cone shaped barrel. Locks up really well, locks up perfectly. There's no play in either of these between the sliding frame or the barreling slide. Accuracy, I put it in the ransom rest, and they'll, they're both shooting sub two inches all day at 25 yards. Some logs down around an inch and a half, and I found the short gun is just as accurate as the full size gun. They both shoot really well. Uh, for uh, holding one offhand, I can shoot the full size gun better because it has a longer sight radius. As far as accuracy, they both work really well. And this little one carries great, particularly this lightweight one, in this uh, crossbreed holster. They'll both fit in the same holster. It's cut for 1911. Crossbreed invented the hybrid holsters, and they've been copied by little people all over the industry copying this holster design. But what I like about them is they're leather on the back. This particular one's outside the belt, but it can also be used between the belt and the pants. Uh, but I really like it because they also make them go inside your pants, but... Crossbreed uses thin Kydex made with leather, so it makes it comfortable, but it stays open, holds the weapon really well without adding a lot of bulk to it. Uh, carried around that holster, it fits really well. But these are two nice, good, reliable weapons uh, from Dan Wesson. They're available now. They're both in production. Dan Wesson has a full line of guns, several more models besides these, so uh, check them out at cz-usa.com. You can see all the Dan Wesson 1911-style uh, handguns on that side. Anyway, there's some good guns. We really like them. They're, uh, they're not the cheapest gun on the market, but you're getting a custom gun for about half of what a true custom gun of this quality would cost you. So they're, uh, they got a good value to them. 
a lot of nice features and they're built right. Built by Dan Wesson, built in the USA. And this little lightweight gun, I'm going to shoot some good uh, 185 grain plus P hollow point. Show you it still handles really well, even for a 27 ounce 45. No problem at all, even with the plus P stuff, handling this little weapon.